-hmm. Because who created seeds that are renewable? Like Mm -hmm. truly, like who created life that is truly renewable? What is the only thing on earth that is actually renewable? Mm. It's life. And they can, you know, go back to the Big Bang Theory and Darwin. I mean, when I found out, does anyone know when who employed Darwin, where <laughs> Darwinism comes from? <laughs> uh, go ahead. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, look it up. Yeah. The Rothschilds. Yeah. yeah. It goes right back to 10 Downing Street. All the way. And the same people who employed Darwin. Mm-hmm. And that's when Darwin, you know, wrote his theory of evolution and so on and so on. And right. I'm not saying that none of that is true. Right. I'm just saying Darwin was hired by someone Mm -hmm. to come up with a theory, right? Based on evidence. Okay, fine. But, you know, even the people, the scientists, all of the people that can take you back to the Big Bang, what is the one question they can never, ever, ever answer? They can never tell you whatever that was, whether it's the molecules or the energy or, you know, all that stuff. Have you ever wondered how scientist Charles Darwin spent his life studying the origin of species? Apparently, it was because he was paid by a famous Jewish banking family, that is, according to noted expert Lara Logan. Yes, the latest right-wing conspiracy theory has made its appearance on the mainstream internet. The host of Fox Nation, Lara Logan, once again pushed an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory this time asserting that Charles Darwin and his theories of evolution were funded by the famous banking family of Europe, the Rothschilds. The Rothschilds are a long-standing family of bankers who made their mark on the European banking industry and are notably Jewish. One of the historical reasons for their endeavors into banking is because conservative Christian doctrine at the time thought dealing in any way with money was immoral, and thus it was one of the only ways Jews, who were often segregated and ghettoized in European societies, societies were able to make a decent living. Of course, this has spiraled into dozens of sick conspiracy theories, largely among the American right over the years. This particular take from Logan went down on a right-wing conspiracy theorist podcast called And We Know. Aside from the racist, anti-Semitic content itself, Logan displays such a lack of knowledge, coherency, and intelligence as she stumbles over her words in attempting to describe this particular case. Instead of offering any proof or explanation, here's what she said about the theory of evolution. Quote, they can never tell you what that was, whether it is the molecules or the energy or, you know, all that stuff. Convincing. Let me know if you have any idea what she's talking about here. Logan, of course, is no stranger to scandal. She was famously put on leave by Fox News after suggesting that Dr. Fauci was the modern equivalent of Nazi doctor Joseph Mengele, who performed inhumane medical experiments on Jewish prisoners at the Auschwitz concentration camp. So it's clearly a through line of Logan's career to peddle anti-Semitic conspiracy theory after anti-Semitic conspiracy theory. And this new take, unfortunately, is nothing out of the ordinary for her. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at carojohnson917.